Hi everyone, I am back with Virgo. So we're gonna ask universe, God, our angels, our ancestors, our guides, all the spiritual beings of light to give us the messages we need to receive for Virgo. We are so grateful and thankful for all the messages that we receive for Virgo. So I'm gonna go ahead and do your messages here, Virgo. We're gonna see what's happening for you this week. This is gonna cover 927 to 104, and this is gonna include one weekend card, one weekend message, okay, for you, Virgo. What is happening for Virgo this week? Oh, we got the Ace of Swords, the truth, a new direction, doing things differently, movement forward, okay? Ace of Swords is about finding out the truth, getting clarity. You know, the clouds are clearing up and you're getting clarity about the way you want to go, the direction or the things you want to do. What else is here for Virgo? That came up face up. What else is here for Virgo? Okay, what else? We got... The Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you need to look at the way you're dealing with money. Maybe you're getting a true for looking at something that's going to help you grow money. Maybe save money. Maybe doing things differently when it comes to money. And looking at your finances, your abundance. What brings you stability? What brings you stability, Virgo? What is it that you need to see? What is it that you need to get clarity so that you can move in a more stable way? Because I feel like stability is going to come in once you see this. Once you know the direction you want to take. And once the clouds clear up and you see through the fog, what it is that you need to do to bring more stability in your life. And abundance, of course. You're thinking more about money and abundance here, okay? So what else is here for Virgo? Oh, looking at a situation, observing. Observing things, observing a situation, being on the lookout and seeing things clearly. Uh, also communicating or getting communication because we got the Eight of Wands. Sometimes the Eight of Wands can be heated communication. Sometimes it just could be positive movement forward into a different direction or doing things differently, okay? I mean, the cards have multiple meanings, but I'm trying to go over them clearly and ev in every way so that everyone gets a message here, okay? So it's just getting the communication or information. You got two cards of information and communication coming in that is going to help you direct you. This is directing you into a different way or doing things differently, okay? And you're watching. You're looking. You're maybe trying to understand this communication and see what you're going to do with this, okay? It probably is going to affect your stability, your abundance. You're looking to gain that money, that stability. You're looking to grow money. And I think you're going to get information or communication about that, okay? What else is here for Virgo? What else is here for Virgo, please? Are you going to be taking action with something that's going to help you with your finances? Because Eight of Wands is also an action card, okay? Okay, we got too many cards. We can't take them all. What else is here for Virgo? Show me the cards I need to see. What else is here for Virgo? Yeah, the wheel. Okay, things are going to be moving the way you hope them for. There's going to be some lucky breaks, lucky takes, lucky situations coming into your life where you're going to feel like, okay, I'm going to I'm going to get the information I need. I'm going to move forward the way I want to move forward. I'm going to look at a situation carefully and I'm going to do things that are right, okay? Because the Ace of Swords is being fair. The Ace of Swords is always about being fair. Think of Camelot. Think of um, the guy, the, the cartoon where the guy takes out that sword of light because he's the only one that can do it. It's almost like, hey, be fair. Be what you want in others, right? So being fair. And, you know, once you be fair and you look at the, a situation, you're going to see how to grow your pentacles, how to stabilize your energy, how to stabilize your own emotions also. And you're going to get information about how to improve your finances, okay? Because I see lucky breaks, lucky situations, and the Wheel of Fortune moving. The Wheel of Fortune is, trumps all other cards. So that means that no matter what you're going through, no matter situations, if there's arguments or disagreements or something, things are going to be working out for you, okay? What else is here for Virgo? What other messages we have for the Zodiac sign, Virgo? What other messages we have for the Zodiac sign, Virgo? Please show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, we got... The Seven of Cups, many options, but be careful not to be in a negative mindset. There are options and opportunities. There may be issues and complications too, because with options, those things come along too. This is life, right? So this is you needing to focus on the positive. And even if, if issues come around, remember what trumps this? The Wheel of Fortune that's trumping this whole reading. This is the, this is the most strongest card in the deck right now with the sun. So whenever these two, the sun card and the wheel of fortune come out, it trumps. Why? Because it's telling you that you are going to get lucky breaks. Got to be in the positive mindset. Got to make wise choices. If something didn't work for you in the past, don't go back to doing that. Go back to seeing what does work for you. Okay? So that is the message here for this week for you. We're going to get one more card and then we're going to close it out and give you your weekend message. One more card for Virgo, please. 
One more card for Virgo. Yeah, death, a renewal. Okay, so you're definitely going in a new direction. You're definitely going to get the messages you need to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And this trumps it. Death is here. Death is a strong card too. But what death is saying is there's something within yourself or there's something within a situation that's not clear, but you're going to get the clarity needed so that you can move forward. And that's what's going to cause the change of happiness. Okay. There is clarity coming in. Even if it's you staying, keeping yourself in this negative frame of mind, break free from it. See the positive. See what's standing. And if something didn't work out and there's and there's another situation that you know is better, a better way, you know, don't focus on the negative. Focus on the positive because that's what's going to bring you the lucky breaks. Okay, Virgo? That is your message for this week, okay? Focus on the positive. Don't focus on the negative. Now, if you're trying to be negative, you're going to fall into not getting these lucky breaks. So be smart about the choices you make. Be smart about the direction and be open, mm -hmm. be honest to everyone involved so that you can move forward in the right direction and get those lucky breaks you're looking for, Virgo. That is your message for this week. Let's get your one, one, one weekend card message. What is the message for, Vir for Virgo for this weekend? What is the message for Virgo this weekend? Ooh, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. That is your energy. Knight of Pentacles looks at a situation carefully before making a decision, weighs out the options, you know, looks, graphs things out, looks at things carefully to know which choice or which decision or how to grow their pentacles, their money, what is going to work for them best. They, they're at a stand still just strategizing and seeing which direction they want to take in their life when it comes to finances or money or even their inner stability, okay? So this weekend, you're just going to be looking at that. What makes me happy? What is going to really grow my money, my finances? What's going to bring me the stability I need in my life right now? And once you do things in a just way, you're going to get back the lucky breaks you're looking for, Virgo. So that is your message for this weekend and this week. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.